exercise will get you familiar with using forcible entry tools on doors and walls. Walk forward and open the door. The next door is locked. Grab the crowbar off the bench and walk towards the door. Then, break it open. Good work. Now place the crowbar on the ground. Nicely done. Place the Halligan tool on the ground and... Grab the demo hog off the bench, walk towards the door, and bust it open. Grab the axe and walk towards the door. Swing at it and smash it open. When there's no available door, create your own. You can break through some walls using any forcible entry tool. Look for the cracks in the wall and break through it with your axe. Good work. Now place the axe on the ground in the glowing... This training will familiarize you with using forcible entry tools on windows to enter and exit rooms and buildings. Now, grab either tool on the bench, walk over to the window, and smash it open. Okay, now climb through the window into the... Job done. Now climb through the... This exercise will familiarize you with using power saws to cut through locks to open doors and vents. Okay, pick up the circular saw from the ground. Good. Now use the saw to cut the lock on the vent ahead. You have to be careful, so aim for the indicated target. Nice. Once more, pick up the saw. Now, walk over to the garage and use the saw to cut the lock. The job complete. This training exercise will familiarize you with using ladders. To use a ladder, you must first attach to it. Walk over. Okay, now reconnect yourself to the ladder and climb back down to the ground. Okay, now reconnect. Now, climb up to the... Good! Okay, now climb back down and we'll continue. Job done. With this training exercise, we'll familiarize you with how quickly fire can spread. Okay, stay where you are and just watch the fire spread. Notice how fast it jumps from object to object. water by using the indicated button. Job done. All right. 
Once again, just watch the fire spread. Grab a hose and try to put out both grease fires. The water doesn't help, does it? In fact, it makes it worse. Water and grease fire don't mix. To fight grease and chemical fire, we'll need to use a portable CO2 extinguisher. Grab an extinguisher and heat it at the base of both fires. Sweep the extinguisher side to side on the plane and make sure you put it out. Good work. When out on calls, look for different types of flames so you can be ready for any grease or chemical fires you run into. 